Why, hello there. Hey everybody, it's Josh. Just want to thank you all for watching this video, reading the blog down below. Um, really just wanted to start a Bible blog, trying to figure out where should I start this. I was thinking, hey, why not how to read the Bible? Because, you know, without that, really, we're just people sitting around talking about opinions, and that kind of just makes us politics. Or preteen girls. Those two have a weird amount in common, weirdly enough. There's really something to think about there. Yeah, so uh, before we really get into any of this, got to ask you, do you believe that the Bible is 100% true? Of course I do, Josh, some of you might say, which I'd like to follow up that question then with, uh, did you know that the Bible describes how we should take babies and dash them against the rocks? Yeah. Did you also know that the Bible describes how a man killed his virgin daughter for God? Did you also know that the Bible says we can be too righteous? Actually, the exact phrase is, don't be righteous over much. Yeah. Weird stuff. Yeah. What? Yeah. So it's like, what? What? Yeah. All that right there. So today I want to talk about context. Context. You know, it's that thing that kind of makes statements mean multiple different things. Like, get out of here can mean, dude, you're hilarious. Get out of here. Or it could mean... I just caught you with my girl, get out of here, or I'm going to kill you. Or, you know, I like you. It's another one of those phrases. It can mean, yeah, you're cute, I like you. Or it can mean, yeah, you're really ugly. But I'm a nice person, so yeah, I like you, as a friend. So, Bible. Back to that story, with the guy killing his daughter, it's actually Judges 11. The daughter's like, hey, I'm gonna go throw a virgin party. One last shindig, because, you know, just still a virgin. Yeah, it's kind of... So context, she was still on this last party because her dad was about to kill her. Hey, that doesn't make it any better. So more context, dad was about to kill her because he was like, yeah, I made this deal with God so I could win the war, so now I gotta murder you, daughter. You know, sacrifice and whatnot. That's still not better. More context, he wasn't listening to God. God never actually told him to do this. He made the deal with God. He won the war. His deal was that I'd sacrifice the first thing I see when I get back. First thing he saw ended up being his daughter. He said he'd have to sacrifice her. She was like, Dad, just let me have one more going out because this is really disgraceful to die this way. He allowed it. She went up to the mountain, invited her friends, had a good little time, I suppose. Or probably more weeping than good times. Probably, yeah. You know, looming death and whatnot. Meaning of the story is actually way different than what you originally would think. The meaning is, in context of what the theme of Judges is, that the Israelites weren't really listening to God. It was this idea that we're going to make deals that we're not really taking seriously because we want God's favor. Even though we're not really serious about this. That's why you get the whole cycle of sin thing many of you all might have heard about. More on that down below, reading about more of the context stuff. Really like to hear y'all's opinions on all this context, this story, anything like that. Um, next week we'll be talking about subjects and objects, how to get a deeper meaning out of the text. And uh, with that, I'd actually like to leave everybody with one last question of what do you think is the meaning of Genesis 1 through 3, the creation story, if you will. Talk more about it next week. Just want to see what y'all think now. Thank you for your time with this video. Hopefully y'all get to read down below, comment, like, share, help me get the word out on all this. And I'll be talking to y'all again in a couple weeks.